far away by your seat in Vienna the quiet music of the Danube became gentle witness accessory to secret yet noble passion I knew also of your fine little horses the Lipizzana most suitable for dressage whose sleek shanks are more than matched by your Sagittarian rear sensuously curving into golden thigh amazing evidence of the zodiac's architecture was the hand of the sculptor from Khajarao even there? <laughs> sense of daring could startle a weak lover. The proverbial Habsburg wildness ripples like a reflection of fire upon an armor of poise, silken elegance and pearl-ringed neck. <laughs> Fire is your element, true blue flame, from the mellowness of a candle that lights you gently to your weakness for arson, by a silver-tongued Romeo that lights the fuse of dangerous passion, and in abuse makes you fly, body arched in trust, moth-like, unaware, into sublime merger, synthesis by fire, eyes intense, innocence of guile, you become Juliet, and in medieval dim-lit rooms where others gorge themselves on food and dance, you seek love in the most audacious fashion. You seek love in the most audacious fashion. You seek love in the most audacious fashion.
The secret simply glows. Its golden threads luminescent. A harp latent with eternal mantras all flowing into pranava. The breath sound of the cosmos. Galaxies, black holes, and neutron stars form dewdrops on these kundalini strings, evaporating into cosmic sound. <laughs> where Shiva defeated Kali in high Tandava and then limited her destructive power. He then went on to destroy the world himself, carving all but the prime soul for a more auspicious creation. Kali stands beside him in mute surrender. <laughs> Yeah. 